Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Tuesday, 2nd of October. I'm recording this video 6pm in the evening New York time on Tuesday the 2nd New York time. Here's our first daily wave count which is expecting more upwards movement. The first wave count looks at the rare possibility of an expanding triangle would be nearing the end of wave D of the triangle and then would only have the final wave E downwards. So this one expects a new all-time high. It's around about even in probability with our second daily wave count. The midterm targets are pretty much the same and we're still expecting more upwards movement. This structure is incomplete. At 1508, wave 5 green, beginning here, will reach equality in length with wave 1 green. After that, for this wave count, we'd expect a fourth wave correction for 4 pink, more upwards movement to N3 blue, a fourth wave correction for 4 blue, more upwards movement to a new all-time high. Keep drawing this channel on the daily chart and copy it over to the hourly chart, 1 to 3 and a copy on 2. We're not finding support at the lower edge of this channel at the moment and a parallel copy pulled out and pulled lower is still not providing support. We had a little bit of downwards movement yesterday with overall sideways movement. If full green is not over and it could still extend further sideways as a double combination or less likely a double zigzag, if it does that, it can't move into wave 1 price territory below 1426.68. We'd need to see a pretty clear 5 up on the hourly chart to have any confidence that 4 green is indeed over, and we don't have that yet. But it is nicely in proportion to 2 green, and there's very nice alternation between them. So I expect it's very likely that it is over. Alternatively, there's another way of looking at this piece of movement here. If 3 pink is not extending, and if it's already over, then 3 blue itself may be over, and we'd be looking at a long extended fifth wave to come. At 1607, C black in its entirety would reach a quality in length with A black, and at 1619, 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of 1 blue. If for blue, if this is the fourth wave extension at blue degree and it does move sideways and lower, then it can't move into wave 1 blue price territory below 1380.39. That price point is really important for us. If price moves below this invalidation point, then our second daily chart, the alternate, will be correct and we'll expect we've had a big trend change, but I really don't think so. Let's have a look at what happened yesterday on the hourly chart, where the low for the fourth wave, whether it be green or blue degree, is this point down here. So this hourly wave count sees a 5, 3, 1, 2, a 5, 3, another 1, and a very deep second wave correction. Wave 2 aqua was not over here as a double zigzag. It subdivides perfectly now on the 5 minute chart into a 5 3 5 single zigzag with an impulse and an ending diagonal for the C wave. If it does move any further sideways, it can't move beyond the start of 1 aqua. The invalidation points really close by at 1437.95. If this wave count is invalidated with downwards movement in the next day or so, then what I would expect would be happening would be that the fourth wave correction, be it at green or blue degree, would not be over and it would be extending further as a double combination most likely, with a zigzag, an X wave and then another corrective structure to take up about a week. So if this wave count is invalidated with downwards movement, then I would expect choppy, overlapping, overall sideways movement for another week around about. Now too, Aqua has moved lower, our short term target has moved correspondingly lower. At 1470, wave 3 Aqua would reach 1.618, the length of wave 1 Aqua. 
and I would expect a continuation of the strong upwards momentum that ended Tuesday's session. And the midterm target is exactly the same. Here's our second daily wave count, and it too has the same midterm target, a slightly higher, longer term target, and it's expecting upwards movement for weeks, possibly even a month or so. We still have a fourth wave correction to come in here. This wave count also has a low probability because primary wave B is now a bit longer than 138% the length of primary wave A. This is all within a flat correction at cycle degree and within a flat the maximum common length of the B wave in relation to the A is up to 138%. As soon as it moves beyond that point the probability that it's a flat unfolding reduces. So that's why this second daily wave count, although its cycle degree is looking at a more common structure, it has a reduced probability because of the length of this B wave. Either way, it's still expecting more upwards movement for another weeks, if not even a month or more. Eventually, this one would expect a trend change in downwards movement, and when price moved below 1380.39, at that stage our first daily wave count, its alternate, which saw downwards movement as a fourth wave correction, would be firmly invalidated, and so this wave count would be confirmed and would have a trend change confirmed. That's quite a long way away yet though. Alternatively, it is kind of still possible that we may have had a big trend change. I really don't think so. We should always assume the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. I published this just to be aware of the outlying possibility, but with price movement back above this point, this downwards movement doesn't look like an unfolding leading diagonal, nor does it look like an unfolding impulse, the only structures allowable for a first wave. So it just doesn't fit on the hourly chart, not that I can see at this stage. Any second wave correction can't move beyond the start of the first wave if we have had a trend change. Movement above 1474.51 would obviously invalidate this wave count and we can have even more confidence that we're going to continue on upwards for a while yet. So we didn't get the increase in upwards momentum that I was expecting for Tuesday's session. We got mostly sideways movement, price moving a couple of points lower, but remaining above the invalidation point. The structure for that second wave correction on the hourly chart now has a really easy fit on the five minute chart as a single zigzag. I expect it's got to be over there, so tomorrow we should see the increase in upwards momentum that I was expecting for today. That's all for me today with your SMP analysis and I hope that members are all having a fabulous day.